Hello everyone. So today let us uh, use uh, automation rules to clone issue and uh, it is a simple uh, automation and I don't really think I covered this previously and actually I was looking at uh, the community post today one one question on the community where uh, there was a question about uh, cloning an issue along with the attachments and uh, this is of course not really possible. I mean I was hoping that we can do it but unfortunately not you can actually use automation rules to clone issues and uh, it works wonderfully well but it won't really clone uh, the it won't really carry over the attachments so let us do that and what i will do is i will of course you know go to the automation rules and uh, i will then uh, show you the rule so the so the rule is something that i just uh, created i didn't really want to create the rule on the fly it's a simple rule anyways so nothing to worry about I'll, I'll show you how it works and how to create it so <clears throat> this this rule will do two things it will uh, not only create uh, a clone of the issue but it will also create a link to the cloned issue i mean in case you want to i mean i think it makes sense so the main thing that you have to do is i mean you can actually create a clone within the same project or you can also create a uh, create a clone uh, in a different project so this is something that that is totally up to you. So in my case, I'm creating a clone in a, in a different project. So the trigger is basically the transition. So whenever I move the issue from, let us say, any status to on hold, um, which is right now is configured, the rule will then run. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create this clone in my BTP project. And the issue type is same. And uh, make sure this is... Uh, relevant otherwise the rule will probably not work and the summary is something that will uh, have this prefix clone i mean normally when you clone an issue in jira clone an issue in jira it, you will get this uh, prefix and uh, you can also do one more thing you, you can also use uh, i mean there is one action called link issue link issues and you can actually see here that there is an option that you can actually create uh, one link automatically after the cloning is done and you can actually link your original issue to the most recently created issue so this is something that you can do and one thing that you need to be aware of is when you are selecting this clone issue action you can actually overwrite some of the fields if you want but uh, there is no option i mean it won't really uh, if you look at the description here it says that the rule uh, will i mean this action will clone the issue with the uh, all the fields possible but not not really all the fields uh, i mean if you go to this link you can actually read about uh, what all it can copy and what all it cannot copy or clone so basically it is saying that it will not clone the issue links comments or attachments which is i know a bit sad but it's okay um, as long as we know what can be done and what cannot be done so let us publish this rule and let us take a look at the audit log and maybe I'll just open my Jira instance and uh, I will go to my my project. So let us go to Android project. That is my favorite project. And uh, let me open uh, maybe this one, AN-188. It's a bug. And uh, what I'll do is, of course, I'll transition the issue. And let us see if it works. So this particular issue, uh, first of all, let me just attach a couple of files because, you know, why not? So I'm basically making sure that uh, this project will have some images or whatever files and there are some uh, fields that I will I should actually fill in blah 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 and blah 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 and you know we, we want to make sure that uh, so we do have some labels we do have some multi select fields selected and uh, I believe this is something that uh, will help us to see how this rule works and to trigger this issue or to, to trigger this rule I will click on the on hold and if I go back to my audit log and if I refresh it is now showing in progress let us click on this one more time and uh, show more so issue cloned successfully BTP3 and uh, successfully linked issues EN-188 and BTP3 which is what we want and uh, I guess this is it. Let me just refresh the page and uh, let us see if the link is uh, created. I hope so. So yes, there is a link 
and uh, this link is uh, basically going to take us to the issue the issue that we want which is uh, the cloned issue and uh, the good thing is that uh, it has copied i believe uh, some of the fields i mean it also depends if you have those fields in the project but uh, i think uh, some of the fields are missing but i think it will work i guess so we have the the uh, let us take a look at the original an-188 so on the right hand side i can see the labels i can see i believe uh, okay so we don't have a lot of custom fields but uh, if you look at the original issue we have we do have the environment field which is uh, definitely copied so it it will work i guess it will work and uh, i thought i'll probably show you how to do it because it's a common thing that you may want to do clone and clone clone an issue and also at the same time uh, link it to the one to the issue that actually triggered this rule and make sure if you have a multi project global rule make sure you keep it disabled otherwise i mean if you are testing by the way not on your production i mean i mean basically it will count towards the execution so if i go to the list and if i go to the usage history and uh, you know i can already see that a uh, uh, lot of uh, i mean this month 14 times i have executed so it is a bit uh, concerning so i want to make sure that these rules are definitely disabled and that is it that is all i wanted to talk about today in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much